I'm Dan Wass, and welcome to another Ammoland News Second Amendment update. Florida's Agriculture Commissioner, Nikki Freed, is suing the Biden-Harris administration, the ATF, and Attorney General Merrick Garland over cannabis prohibition on the 4473. Florida is an unusual state, and the Agriculture Commissioner position is no exception to that. One of the most important things is that the commissioner oversees the Florida Concealed Weapon and Firearms Licensing Program. Ms. Freed is also one of the Democrats vying for the top spot on the ballot for governorship and to challenge Republican Ron DeSantis. She has tremendous power over firearms in Florida, and she's not been a friend of gun owners in the past. So why is she fighting for gun rights now? Well, she's a former lobbyist for the cannabis industry and a vocal advocate for weed. Now, Florida is one of 37 states with legal medical marijuana, and Ms. Freed has a state medical marijuana card. The problem is that she also has a Florida concealed weapon and firearm license. As gun owners know, the federal 4473 form asks, are you an unlawful drug user? It explicitly says that the use or possession of marijuana remains unlawful under federal law regardless of whether it's been legalized or decriminalized in your state. Freed is claiming the lawsuit is all about the Second Amendment rights of gun owners, but if she wants to protect the right to keep and bear arms of Florida citizens, then why has she worked so hard to get rid of the state's preemption laws? Preemption prevents anti-gun localities from passing their own gun ban laws. It's the bedrock of gun rights in Florida. Yet Freed, who claims to be a defender of the Second Amendment, seems to want to scrap it and let local gun banners run wild. Now, lying on the 4473 is a serious crime and could land someone in prison for up to five years. Since Freed uses weed and has a concealed carry permit and has admitted to owning a firearm, does that mean she violated federal law when she purchased her gun? Could she be covering herself by suing the federal government over the 4473 drug question? Tell us what you think in the comments below and share this video with your family and friends to help support Amelan News, America's oldest Second Amendment news outlet.